So let's call a spade a spade. The mega regimen of psychiatric medications that I took for over 10 years, I didn't want to take. It was my mother controlling my narrative, controlling my voice, and she forced me to take them. Now, she says she never had nefarious intentions, and Dr. Copland says he never had nefarious intentions, but it was my body, I had no choice. It was either take the medications or be homeless, take the medications or be in the psychiatric hospital. I was forced to take it. I know they say it's learned helplessness, you could have lived elsewhere. Fair enough. However, I did not want to take the medications. Now, the same is true for HIV PrEP. I think my mother and stepfather conspired into getting me to take HIV PrEP, Eccentris and Truvada. They did it as a receipt over something that had transpired years earlier. They did it to me with premeditated intent. In their minds, they were giving me a receipt, I suspect. They deny it. They say, no, we did not gaslight you into taking HIV PrEP. It was your choice. It was your decision. You, were, you, you and you alone is who chose to take HIV PrEP. I think they're lying, but okay. You know, but however, if they did have nefarious intentions about anything, HIV PrEP, pharmacological abuse, anything pharmacologically related, if they had any nefarious intentions to get me to take a medication I did not want to take, I want them to take accountability, I want them to confess it, because the medications made me feel metaphorically HIV positive, it made me feel like I'm going to get cancer, it made me feel like my body was bullying me, it traumatized me, it led to two psychiatric hospitalizations. So if my parents had nefarious premeditated intent, I want them to confess it. But I'm told, catch it, check it, change it, there's nothing for them to confess to, they never had nefarious intentions. Toggle the emotional switch to off. Nobody did it to you.